My name is Atif, I'm from Afghanistan and today I'll be making Kabli Palau, which is a dish that my mom taught me growing up. It is the crown of Afghan cooking. The very first step is making or cooking the meat. Um, the meat that I have purchased for this particular dish is um, beef with bone-in. Fry a small to medium onion and oil and then you add the turmeric, the meat and you cook it for about two minutes and then you add the onions and the garlic and you cook it an additional two minutes. Then you just add the coriander, um, you add about four cups of water. It took about 30 minutes in a pressure cooker to cook the meat. And then you just set this aside while you cook the rice. So this is the main ingredient, the rice. This is about four cups of rice, which um, I soak for a few hours. This pot, this is a pretty large uh, pot, so I have it halfway filled. Well, the last time I had this dish, my mom makes it quite often, especially for like gatherings, dinner parties. Right now, Eve is coming up in a few days, so my mom will definitely have something like this um, at the table. There are different versions of Kabli, um, but this is the version that my mom taught me, and this is the version that I just love. I think just the fact that my mom has taught me, um, it tastes the best to me, I guess. The water has come to a boil, so now I'm gonna add the salt. So I prefer to use the kosher, the coarse kosher salt. I think it has a bit more flavor. Go ahead and add the rice and then this is going to cook in here probably 15-20 minutes. You only want to cook it halfway um, and then it's going to steam cook the rest of the way. Then you do definitely want to stir it every few minutes so that it doesn't stick to the bottom and all the rice cooks evenly through. So Afghan people are really particular about the way we cook our rice. Um, this rice is our star dish um, in all our cooking, even though in some cultures it's a side dish. Um, so the way to test it, you want to make sure it's not mushy. It's very important to um, make sure that your rice is not mushy. Um, that's like one complaint that people will have when they leave your dinner party. So what you do is you take, when it's halfway done, you take a rice and you put it between your fingers. When it breaks into little knots, that's when you know it's perfectly done. And then you take it off of the heat and drain the water. Let's see, it's See, it's breaking right there in the little knots. And so now it's basically time to take it off. Again, if it's a little underdone, it's much easier to cook it in the next step further um, than it is if it's mushy. So let's go ahead and take the water out of this and then I'll show you the next step in the process. We're gonna go ahead and cook the carrots with the raisins. So first step, you just add about two cups of carrots into oil and it's about a cup of oil um, it doesn't matter you're gonna drain the oil out so you're not using all of it. It's born in Kabul and I think we left when I was about four, four, five years old and then we lived in Pakistan for several years, about seven years and I think when I was about nine I used to remember begging my mom to let me cook and she didn't want to because I was so young and over there you had those open electric stoves so she was afraid I might electrocute myself but finally they allowed me to cook one day and I think I made dal which is the more, most basic thing and I remember none of my brothers wanted to eat it because they thought it was like it had cooties or something <laughs> but it came out really well and um, I guess I've been cooking kind of since then my parents you know they love to cook and entertain and um, my dad is really particular about presentation and taste so over the years you know they taught me how to cook um, not just tasty food but also it had to look nice and beautiful so today I'll kind of show you how this rice looks and it's so beautiful it dresses up your dinner table so this has been cooking for on a, about medium high heat for the last five minutes or so so it's almost done, as you can see, it's starting to kind of go down a little. Um, so at this point, I'm gonna add the raisins. We'll do about half a cup of raisins, or three-fourths of a cup of raisin. And then you'll cook these and the carrots for another two to three minutes. You don't wanna overcook the raisins. And at the same time, you'll add about a fourth of a teaspoon of cardamom. This gives it a really fragrant smell, and it just adds so much to the taste. 
raisin and the carrots are done now and what I'm going to do is take it out of the oil and put it on a paper towel so we remove all the oil and then what we're going to do is put it in this aluminum foil bag that I just made myself and then what we're going to do is close it up and then put it to the side and the last step of the rice um, when it's steam cooking. So we'll do that in a little bit and I'll go ahead and show you that in just a few minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the oil and put it on a paper plate for just a few minutes so we take all the oil out, we don't want it too greasy. And then we'll be putting it in the aluminum foil bag and, we'll, and then we're going to place that inside the, the rice so that it steam cooks with the rice. So, and then we're going to take this and put it in the rice dish and steam cook it for another 20-25 minutes. I have about a cup of oil, it's vegetable oil, you don't want to use olive oil because that has um, kind of a strong smell to it, so you want to use something that's odorless. And what I've done is added a little, probably three-fourths of a cup sugar in here, maybe a little bit more. Um, and what you do, this process, basically you burn the sugar and so you'll see a little bubble start to come up and that's how you know um, the sugar is ready. Don't be scared, it may look like it's burning but that's the process and I'll show you how this sort of ties in with the rice. And if, So this probably takes just about five, five to eight minutes, not very long, it's a pretty quick process. I have it on, on medium high. So as you can see right now, it's starting to burn a little bit at the bottom and pretty soon it's all gonna melt and then little bubbles are actually starting to come up right now but it's gonna look like little clouds on top. part is a little scary. So this is the color you want to go for. Um, so you kind of bring it into like a little dome. Take the cumin. Again, you can use whole or you can use um, ground. I like the ground a little bit better. You just sprinkle that on top. So we're going to take about a half a cup of water and go ahead and add that on top as well. This will give it a little bit of a steam. Put the raisins and carrots just to the side, it doesn't really matter. Now this pot has a pretty good lid that goes on tightly, but if you have one that doesn't... So you just wrap it up and you put that on top. You push it down so no steam comes out. It's important that the steam stays in the rice. So we're gonna have it on high heat for about five minutes or a little less than five minutes. You want the water to kind of boil up and create the steam and then you reduce it to medium and leave it at that for about 20 minutes. This is the final step. After this, we'll be ready to eat it. I'm wearing a traditional Afghan dress. Okay, so the rice is done. Now we're gonna put it on a platter and I'll show you how to do this. So you see some white, some red, that's okay, that's how it's supposed to look, a mixture of both colors. And so we're gonna do half, half of the rice. And then we're gonna add the meat that we cooked earlier in the center, without the juices, just the meat. So when people are eating it, you get a piece of the meat with some rice, and this could just be an entire um, meal by itself because it has both the meat and the rice. So now we're going to take the rest of the rice and we're going to put it on top and basically cover the meat completely. The last, last step is to take the raisins and the carrots that we cooked earlier and then steamed it with the rice, we just basically sprinkle it on top. And this is it. Nishijan, which means enjoy or bon appetit and pashto.